guys, it's Chloe, and today we're going to be making Stella's casual outfit from the second and third seasons of Wings Club. We're going to be using this dress as our base. It's originally from Express, but I got it off Mercari for just $16, but if you just type in teal strapless dress and say you have that side or Poshmark, you can probably find either this dress in your size or something similar in a different brand. This is my favorite casual look from the series, so I'm really excited to make this. So, let's jump right into it. I decided to make the belt first because I knew it would determine placement of the stripes to some extent, mainly for the bottom portion of the skirt. I measured my hips based on where I wanted the belt to sit. Mine came out to 36 inches, but yours will depend on your own measurements. Then I drew the shape of the belt onto some foam and cut it out. Luckily, I had some foam left over after making my belt for a Supergirl costume. Anyway, once my belt was cut, I started painting it. For those of you wondering why I didn't just cover it in fabric via contact cement, I didn't like the texture that I would have gotten from fabric. Also, my local Joann's didn't really have any stretchy pink fabric, but for a belt like this, I think foam looks better. Anyway, watching me paint even in time-lapse form is boring AF, so we're just going to fast forward to when it's done. There we go. Now that my belt was fully pink, I cut the star out of another sheet of foam and hot glued that on. Then I hot glued some Velcro to the ends of the belt. The Velcro I used is sticky underneath, but I decided gluing it as well would secure it even better. But once I try this on myself, then we're going to move on to the stripes on the dress. But first, as my belt was drying, I painted the headband. You might not have to do this if you can find one that's the right width and shade of pink, but the selection at my Joann's was limited that day, so here we are. Several coats of paint later, I cut out the little rectangles from another sheet of foam and hot glued those onto the sides of the headband. Okay, now onto the stripes. 
I was on the fence about whether to use fabric glue or hot glue for this. After quickly testing out both, I decided to go with hot glue because the fabric glue bled through the ribbon. I'll admit I wasted a lot of time worrying about my stripe placement because they weren't matching up exactly to the reference photo. But then I remembered, this is budget cosplay. It's never going to look 100% like the reference photo. Once I got over that, I was moving so much faster. That's my advice if you're a beginner working on a new cosplay. Don't worry about it being completely exact. Just go for it and do what works for you. It'll still turn out great, I promise. But yeah, it's just hot gluing ribbon onto the dress in a diagonal fashion. You get the idea. I just went all the way down to the bottom of the dress front and back. Once I was done with that, I tried on the dress with the belt to fill in the extra stripes on the bottom of the skirt. Never before had I ever hot glued something onto a costume while I was wearing it, but there's a first time for everything. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film that portion of the process as my tripod wouldn't fit in the area of the room where I was doing this. Also, my room is kind of messy. It's been a long quarantine. Luckily for me, I had just enough ribbon to make it all the way around the dress. I actually ran out on the very last stripe. Funny how that works out. I do need to buy more hot glue soon though. But never mind that because we're done now. And here's our finished product, or product so far, because I still have to get some earrings, some shoes to paint, and a wig to style. But otherwise, here's the costume so far. I'm really happy with it. Is it perfect? No, but this is budget cosplay, so it's not going to be 100% accurate to the reference photo, so... Considering that, I am very pleased with how this turned out. If you decide to try this costume on your own, let me know because I would love to see photos of your take on it, and if you'd like to see more cosplay stuff from me as far as how I make stuff, let me know and I'll, maybe I'll do another video like this. I do plan to shoot this costume as soon as I'm done with it, so if you aren't already, make sure you're following me at Closet Chloe Cosplay on Facebook and or Instagram so that you can see the entire costume put together and those photos, because that'll be really exciting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell. You can also follow me on my other social media link below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!